Hello. I like your bunny. That's very cute. They um they have a bunny in their picture for those of you watching this at another time. Why didn't you have video? You didn't even add your avatar. I have to add it myself. <laughs> so yeah, and hello. So yeah, um, actually I thought, I've been asked, I've been having a bit of a sort of back and forth with a couple of, um, oh, latency issues, I hope so, I just thought I'd try it out and see what happens this time. Anyway, um, been asked a bit about censorship, so I thought I'd uh, go into a bit of that. Now, um, it depends what you mean by censorship, but I think to a degree it's just inevitable that certain things will be censored, like, um, I, I feel like that word's a bit overused. Um, as for the whole bearing debacle, I don't really want to go into all that too much today, but like, I mean, basically I just want to leave that behind me. Bearing and I talked about it. I think we're on the same page. Anyway, um, I wasn't trying to censor him, take away his free speech or dictate to him what he can and can't do. Um, basically it was a disagreement about something. I expressed my view. He expressed he doesn't agree and that's fine. Um, so anyway, um, censorship. So some people say to me that nothing should ever, ever, ever be censored, not even hate speech, absolutely nothing. And I think that's a bit extreme, to be honest. Um, you know, I think certain things do require a certain degree of so-called censorship because there does have to be a degree of protection for other people because it's not just about one individual's free speech, but it's about the rights of all people. Would that be the right to have your feelings catered to? Um, you know, because you could say that a Nazi has, like a neo-Nazi has a right to free speech, and technically, I guess you're kind of right, but if they're spouting off hate speech, what about the rights of all the people that they're targeting with said hate speech? Um, and that's sort of where I come from about this whole issue, is I don't think you that hate speech it should be free speech. I think hate speech, there's a good reason why that's sort of kept separate. Like, I don't, I don't really think that YouTube should have, be a platform where you see lots of really horrible things being said. Like, because I've, I've seen some really awful things being said about women, about black people, like people saying that black people are dumb or uh, violent by nature. Um, I, I find that really awful, really odious stuff. And um, there are people who would say that that's fine on YouTube. When YouTube has a minimum age of about 13, and on top of that, we know for a fact that some people use YouTube are even younger and, you know, aren't really listening to that rule. And I'd be horrified if I had a young relative who had been watching Nazi channels or something on YouTube and ultimately I don't think it's the platform for it, so I would support YouTube's choice to so-called censor that content, um, basically for the good of their own platform not being overrun with that kind of crap. Services like YouTube are welcome to censor whatever they want, but I think it is in their best interest to be transparent about what they censor, and to be as restricted as they can in what they censor. But it is also important because when you try to silence someone, they will gain sympathy, which is counter to their and most people's goals when it comes to politics. And it is often politics that is being censored. It is also important not to censor them, because it leads to banning their political ideology. That is not conjecture. There are a lot of people who think their political views should not be allowed. This could lead to banning more ideologies with time. The best way to combat them is not to censor them. They will still get the message spread, but to show what they actually stand for and challenge their ideas. As for the age issue, there is a reason some countries don't have an age restriction on porn and alcohol. It is the parents' responsibility, and those countries don't have any problems with the kids being exposed to porn or alcohol. So silence anyone who you disagree with, question mark. That person spouting Nazi feminism nonsense believes in their rhetoric just as much as the people who want their speech censored. Um, yes, I'm, I'm not saying that the Nazi feminists he doesn't believe what they're saying. And uh, no, it's not about silencing people because of a disagreement. But when the disagreement, in it's it's more about that, it actually infringes on people's human rights. Like these are people advocating that black people White men. aren't entitled to rights and that they are less than human. So what about the rights of black people? White men. Um, I think it goes beyond a disagreement. Okay, uh, you know, a disagreement is a bit more mild, I'd say. Um, I think that if you're chalking up neo-Nazi feminists opinions as a difference of opinion or a disagreement, that just kind of shows, a, I mean, I, I hate to say it, but it shows a lack of empathy, I've got to say, and I hope that's due to you being maybe a young fellow who just isn't as in touch with what the KKK feminists was responsible for or neo-Nazis. Social justice warriors. What they're like, maybe you're just ignorant of that. But if, if you don't think that that should be censored whatsoever, then I think that's a bit worrying, really. Why silence something that is less threatening than the consequences of silencing it?
Ah, uh, yeah. So Ruben Report. There was an interview on Ruben Report somebody's talking about. Sorry, I, I should probably clarify when I start reading something. Otherwise, you guys will be like, hey, where did you go? <laughs> um, so there was an interview on Ruben Report, apparently. Uh, somebody was talking to, um, talking about the philosophy of uh, whether or not you should speak to Nazis on a public platform. Now, I, I suppose I have less of a problem if the Nazis are receiving some kind of opposition or opposing view. You're not an idiot. Replace words like Nazi and new Nazi with the words like feminist and the social justice warrior. Okay, so feminists and the social justice warriors should not close their comments fields. Just like you consider new Nazis views harmful, we consider your views harmful. And we have evidence for it being harmful. I will also refer you to a skeptor's video on the dark side of political correctness. Any feminist or social justice warrior that does not think neo-Nazis have the right to spread their views is a hypocrite if they try to silence the opposition or close their comment field, unless they consider themselves the arbiters of truth. Um, I, I don't mind if the views are being challenged, but I don't like the idea of somebody being given a platform to spout all sorts of really horrible things. Like, um, I'm talking people saying like things that I think that really ought not be said, like that black people Man. should go back to being enslaved or some shit. Like the things that I've actually heard from these people, it's not something I think is defensible to have unchallenged on a platform. And yeah, so I'm not saying that the Nazis feminists and what did not do bad things. The point that I was making was that their words are not inherently harmful, the words themselves. <sighs> There's a lot to unpack there. Um, no, I, I don't agree. I think their words are inherently harmful because if you're spreading the idea that it is not the words that are harmful it is the ideas if it were the words they should be silenced just like violence is outlawed but it's the ideas and outlawing ideas is extremely harmful and ineffective they must be allowed and must be challenged and i, and I see these people saying things like that black people are Men. stupid and violent and that they don't deserve rights that is very harmful you know people who um people who believe things like that, it's not a simple difference of opinion. Their so-called opinion is something that can get people killed, it can get people, you know, harassed, it has real-life consequences for all sorts of people. It's not as simple as somebody saying this into a vacuum on the internet, because no, this doesn't exist in a vacuum, and these things actively impact the lives of people, real people. Like, the KKK is still active in America. I would be horrified if the KKK had a YouTube channel where they could just spread all sorts of views they want to. And, um, so... Yeah, it's, it's really not as simple as a difference of opinion. These words are inherently harmful. We see the KKK still doing things to terrorise black people. And the more members they're able to get with their lies and their propaganda, the more harmful it is. You know the deal. Replace words like KKK with feminism and black people with men. Look, you have to allow all speech or no speech. Oof, all or nothing, I completely disagree. Only a Sith deals in absolutes, buddy. Oh shit, my father is a Sith. Uh, look, you have to allow all speech or no speech, otherwise there's nothing to stop you from labelling anything you disagree with as harmful or hate speech or saying this will harm people. Um, okay, but th this is the thing, is I think the general consensus among people is that, you know, the KKK often spout hate speech. That's the example I'm going with. That is, like, yes, that is harmful. That is hate speech. I don't think that's even disputable. And in cases where it is disputable, that's more something that would need to be thought of by the powers that be of YouTube, you know. You know, the word substitution routine. Okay, so if you say, shut up, your views are not allowed to be talked about, what sort of message will that send to everyone else? Um, well, it will send the message that you're standing up against racism, basically. And that you are authoritarian. Um, yeah, that's all I, I think. And yeah, also the KKK disregarded for their past actions, not their rhetoric. Um, so so people, people don't generally have an issue with the ideas the KKK have. I really don't believe you, Mr... I'm not going to say your name on the stream, actually, because it's too much attention for that. I'm going to have to side with the devil's advocate, or at the very least say that their actions were worse than their rhetoric. I think most people agree that everyone is entitled to their opinion. So why wouldn't people think the KKK is entitled to their opinion? Anyway, anyway. Uh, any kind of KKK resurgence is largely because they went underground. Their large decline in the early 20th century was due to people drawing the public eye to them and countering their arguments in public. Yep. Uh, yep, so that person had to leave, but um, I, I do agree with challenging their ideas, absolutely, um, but that's the thing is, I don't agree with um, outright hate speech having a platform where they can just spread whatever ideas they want unchallenged, um, because what we see on YouTube is people with a really hostile fan base who tend to have some quite, shall we say, passionate commenters, um, they tend to silence a lot of dissenting opinions in my experience where 
people get sort of too scared to voice their opinion on the channel because they go, oh, no, I, I can't deal with all that crap I'd get for saying what I believe. And I, I think we see that a lot on YouTube. Presented without comment. Um, so really, um, I, I suppose thinking about a platform like YouTube specifically, but even outside of that, I don't think that at 6.30, whatever you turn on the TV in America and you see the KKK's, you know, daily broadcast, I, I think that would be really horrifying. And so... You know, the, the people who think that the KKK or neo-Nazis have a right to free speech, oh, you, you're really bizarre people and I do not understand you. Yeah, yes, do the word substitution. Again, my point is the rhetoric was ridiculous. If you let people talk about their ridiculous ideas and don't create much of a stir, even the KKK are just people who have been hurt by blacks. Have been hurt by blacks. Okay. So, I, I, I think I might even just stop engaging with this person um, yeah, I'm, I'm speaking about you and I know you can hear me, but are, are you fucking serious? <laughs> the, the KKK are just people who've been hurt by black people? So where do you think they got their ideas from? And where do you think all the radical feminists and social media disorders got their ideas from? Do you think their ideas just popped into their heads and were accepted without challenge? I don't know how any of them got their world view, but there must be some underlying reason why so many people would hold it so strong and such radical. Ideas. Uh, I'm not even I'm not even going to touch that can worms because to be honest I just sort of took for granted that people thought the KKK was bad. Did anyone actually say they weren't? But see, that's really stupid. Do you really think the KKK believe they are bad? And what about racists that are not part of the KKK? But um, evidently uh, I was wrong. There are people who want to defend them. Or had to for the sake of argument. And really I, I didn't really go into this uh, having a whole heap of resources I could point to as far as why the KKK is bad, because I just took for granted that no one would be defending the KKK in my chat. Okay, um, that was a rookie error on my part. I probably should have uh, predicted that there'd be somebody playing devil's advocate for the KKK. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Anyway, anyway. Yes, they're bad. No, I'm not defending them. I'm defending their rights to free speech. No, you, you literally just said that they're just people who've been hurt by black people. Don't turn around now and tell me you weren't defending them. I'm astounded that you interpreted that as him defending them, and that you did so from a short message on a live stream chat. And if you're defending their right to free speech, you're placing their right to free speech above the rights of black people. Only if those rights are the rights not to get their feelings hurt. Harmful ideas must be challenged, not silenced. Silencing only makes it worse, and we must ensure everyone's right to free speech, lest we risk losing our own rights. Some mean words aren't really a big issue, only when it's harassment targeted at individuals or actions. You know, like, you're, you're literally... Um defending their rights of free speech and placing that, like, higher on the priority list than black people's rights. And that is completely fucked up. So don't try and tell me you're not defending something disgusting there, okay? Um, no, that's, that's fucked up. You're putting the rights of free speech before actual rights. Free speech is an actual right. Otherwise presented without comment. Doesn't mean I don't think it's wrong, okay? Okay, so you think the KKK are wrong, but you sympathise with them and you think that they've just been hurt by black people as opposed to them just having really disgusting worldviews. Like, I don't see why you're trying to sympathise with people that just say awful things on a regular basis. I think it should be clear by now why that is necessary, but I'll try to explain it further at the end of the video, just in case you didn't get it. Like, I've seen some of what they advocate for. They, you know, advocate for, mis you know, they don't like race mixing and whatever I think it's called, misignation they call it, I don't know, because I don't really, not really uh, big on reading their shit. But the shit that they regularly come out with is stuff that I agree with so-called censoring because, no, I don't believe in absolute free speech. I think some ideas are odious, harmful and disgusting and need to be silenced for the good of everyone, for the good of the public, you know? Your reason for silencing them is yes, that they are distasteful and harmful. Distastefulness is absolutely no reason to censor something. And I have explained why harmfulness is not a reason either. Even if distastefulness was a reason to censor it, who determines what is distasteful enough to censor it? Awful is subjective. <sighs> uh, empathy is a bad thing. No, I mean, um, trying to empathise with somebody because they're saying really disgusting things about black people, that's a bad thing. Trying to see things from both sides when somebody's being objectively awful. It is objective in this case. The KKK is objectively awful. How can you know? And if you can't know, it is subjective, not objective. And what if you are wrong? What if their shit is actually correct? You are just shutting down and refusing to try to understand them, just because you strongly disagree with them. I'm pretty sure my opinion on social justice warriors, and to some degree feminists, 
is very close to your opinion on Nazis, the KKK and neo-Nazis. And considering that socialist warriors and feminists are minorities, just like the KKK and neo-Nazis, what if we treated you like you are suggesting we treat the KKK? Um, I think I might just end this stream, because as I said, I made a rookie error. I assumed that nobody would defend the KKK, and that was really dumb of me, especially on YouTube, because apparently the KKK are just people who've been wronged by, oh, and I quote, blacks. There is nothing wrong with the term blacks. It is just a shorter version of black people. Typical political correctness, striving to use the longest terms possible. So, uh, there we are. I'm, <laughs> I'm just pulling out because, as I said, it was a rookie error to assume that people uh, wouldn't. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, thank you. Bye. Let's look at the Swedish hate speech law. It states, anyone that in a statement or other spread communication threatens or expresses contempt for an ethnic group or other such group of persons with allusion to race, skin color, nationality, or ethnic origin, religious belief, or sexual orientation, shall be sentenced for a hate speech to imprisonment not exceeding two years, or if the crime is petty, to a fine. If the offense is aggravated, the sentence to imprisonment of between six months and four years. In assessing whether the crime is aggravated, special consideration shall be given to whether the message had a particular menace or offensive content and spread to a large number of people in a way that was likely to cause significant attention. Note, these sentences are rather harsh in Sweden. For a message or other communication to be considered hate speech, it must be spread to more than a few people and it must take place in a public place to at least 30 people. It should also contain threats or contempt. The law does not protect minorities any more than it protects majorities. Blacks and whites are equally protected. However, women are afforded extra protection on Swedish law, but it is not related to hate speech, apart from that everyone is equally protected. The hate speech law covers race in color. I guess both are listed because there isn't a real bijection between the two, even if they are often used interchangeably. Nationality, ethnic origin, religion, and sexuality. It does not cover gender, gender identity, binary and non-binary, gender expression, binary and non-binary, disabilities or age, although those are covered by the discrimination law, nor does it cover orientations other than sexual orientation. The sexuality is however not recognized by either law. So you can say things like kill all niggers, kill all negroes, kill all whites, kill all Mexicans, kill all Westerners, kill all Christians, or kill all lesbians. Since Islam is not only a religion but also an ideology, it is unclear whether you can say kill all Muslims. But odds are the court is going to say you can't. Since asexuality is not yet legally recognized, you can't say that asexuals are just pussies scared of their partners thinking they are bad in bed. However, you can say things like kill all men and toxic masculinity. Transsexuals do not deserve to live. Tomboys are just girls that cannot get along with other girls. Disabled people who cannot work are a burden on society and should be exterminated. And seniors are a burden on society and should be killed. But if the protection in the discrimination law is extended to hate speech, those things would be illegal to say in public places to a lot of people. And if we accept your premise that such works are inherently harmful, I think it would be logical to remove the requirements on how the works are spread, and it would be illegal to say those things to one single person in a private place. And if you think it's bad enough that you cannot say you're a fucking white male, imagine when it becomes doubly illegal when the word male becomes protected. Some other popular things you would not be allowed to say are teach men not to rape, men are rapists, men should not be allowed the custody of their children, all men should be enslaved, and men are worthless. A lot of feminists and social justice warriors would be guilty of hate speech. 